Coming up, we're going to be looking deeper at the dark art of correct score trading on Betfair and how to pick the target correct scores to trade on. This is a very important tutorial to watch so you have a good idea of how to pick and then trade upon the most profitable scores in the correct score market. And we've got real life full matches traded for you to see. Go grab a nice cold beer and let's get into it. So there is lots to learn when it comes to correct score trading, but picking out the target scores is pretty much step one with it. And a lot of people do overthink this, overcomplicate it. And so we've got a few tips here. And tip number one is to let probability guide you. And you could just cover some of the most probable score lines and you'll do pretty well just doing that. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're not trying to be heroes trying to back say 3-0 to the underdog or something like that, you could just cover the most probable score lines, okay? And when we say let probability guide you, it could just be a case of looking at the match odds market and we'll, we can see a favorite, which is going to win, say, 70% of the time, 80% of the time. So that's already guiding us in the direction of knowing, look, if we cover score lines where this favorite wins, we're going to do well 70% of the time, 80% of the time. Then we can look at the goal markets and we can see what the markets are forecasting with regards to over one and a half and over two and a half. Most of the time, it's going to be over one and a half, but the over two and a half market can be very, very revealing. And so once you've had a look at that, you can decide which, which score lines you're going to cover. You're going to be covering 2-0, 2-1, but there may be 3-0 and 3-1, possibly not. Possibly you want to cover 2-0, 2-1, but also 1-0 as well. So let probability guide you with that. And of course, we've got some real life demonstrations coming up so you can t take a look, look at this process in a bit more detail. And at the same time, incorporate a plan A and a plan B. Now, people have seen this on our videos before and they've misunderstood it slightly and they thought, well, plan A is to cover score lines where the favorite wins. Plan B, we're going to cover loads of score lines where the favorite doesn't win. And before you know it, and I've seen this, literally, some people are just trying to cover every score line. They're trying to cover every score line in the correct score market, apart from maybe one or two. And well, yeah, your profits aren't going to be very big if you start to cover every score line. OK, it's, it's not going to work like that. And so your the score from the score lines you pick, the majority are going to be plan A. But your plan B, where you cover possibly a draw, plus it possibly an underdog uh, winning the match. That's going to be the minority of the score lines you pick. OK, you still want to expect your plan A is going to come to fruition. And then you've covered one or two score lines in favor of the plan B. And OK, and, and again, I'm going to show you some real life demonstrations coming up. But, but you know, similar to all of this, it's important to have a profit target as well, because I have seen some people and, and you guys have sent in emails trying to pick out your own target scores and some of it's a little bit all over the place. Like I said, I see some people covering plan A, they'll cover something like 2-0, 2-1 to the favorite, but then their plan B is that they might think, oh, but what if the match goes goes crazy? So I'm going to cover also the free free draw. I'm going to cover any other away win. What if the, the underdog wins it 2-1 because they've done matches like that before? And then they're just covering score lines all over the place, a little bit of a scattergun approach. And well, one of the worst things about it is that, remember, if you don't have a profit target, the more score lines you cover, the lower your profit potential, okay? The less score lines you cover, the higher your profit potential, but of course, at the same time, the lower your strike rate. So you need to find a balance of that. And by having a profit target in mind, whether it's a 50% return on your stake, a 25% return on your stake, a more than 100% return on your stake, obviously this is all up to you. Well, yeah, just have your target in mind as you're picking out the scores. Okay. If you're only going to, if you're going to pick out say four or five scores, that's probably a good balance. But if you're going to be covering eight, nine, 10 scores, well, your overall profit potential is going to be pretty low as it is. However, if that fits your profit target, it's absolutely fine. Okay. It's, it's totally up to you. It's one of the great things about trading is that, is that there are no set rules to this. And, you know, moving on from that, here's another bit more of an outside of the box type of tip for you. 
ignore the final score. Okay, so a lot of people, especially when they stumble upon this particular channel, they can't get their head around the fact that we are trading and we're not betting. So when it comes to correct score trading, as traders, we're not going to over concern ourselves about what the final score is going to be. We're probably more considering what scores will trade lower during the match. For example, 2-1 to the favorite, probably a good score line to cover, okay? Because if the underdog takes the lead, 2-1 still alive. And if the favorites say winning the match comfortably 2-0, well, 2-1 is still alive as well. And you could land on that 2-1. So you'd be looking at that 2-1 score line, not to say it's going to be the final score, but it's a potential score line which could be covered during the in play. And of course, if you just want to look at this example a little bit more deeper, well, 1-0, or nil one, if there's going to be a goal in the match, one of those score lines is going to be covered at some point during the match, isn't it? Okay, so if the first goal goes in, it's either going to be one nil or nil one. That's not to say we think one nil or nil one is the final score, but it can be a good score line to trade on because, especially in low scoring matches, if you back a one nil or a nil one, goal goes in, it's now one nil to the favorite. Well, the one nil you backed is now trading much lower and you can use the green and leverage it up. And obviously you're going to be covering other scores like two nil, two one, etc. But you've got the opportunity to trade that one nil score line. So when you are picking out target score lines, don't necessarily think, ah, is this match going to finish one nil? Well, it doesn't have to finish one nil. OK, it could still be a score that you cover as part of the trade. And then you're going to trade out of your position and the match could then go on to a 2-0, a 2-1, a 2-2, a 3-1, etc., etc. So anyway, it's much better to think about potential in-play scores that you expect will get a good run in play rather than trying to predict the final score. OK, so that's something for a lot of uh, traders to keep in mind. Those who just stumbled upon this channel, they probably still don't understand. But anyway, let's move on and... The next tip is going to be don't overthink it. Just don't overthink it, okay? Because I've been getting so many emails from people who have been trying to trade the correct score market and they're emailing me before the match saying, hmm, what do you think about me covering these scores, etc., etc." I don't see the email until after the match has finished. So really, you're better off just picking your scores and going in, going into the markets with it, okay? I mean, once you get to a certain level with your correct score trading, you should have the confidence that you can trade your way out of a match if it does go the wrong way. Or if you've picked out certain scores, the match goes completely against you, completely in a different direction. You've, you've covered loads of scores to the favorite and then suddenly underdog is 2-0 up after 20 minutes. You could just accept the loss knowing, do you know what? Let's move on to the next match. I'm going to trade the next match. I can make it back and more in the next match. OK, so again, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. There's no perfect target correct scores that you can always pick for every single match. Just take into account a lot of the uh, a lot of the tips that have been mentioned so far in this video. And that will definitely point you in the right direction when it comes to picking out your score lines. But anyway, I think it's time to check out some real life demonstrations. These are real life correct score trades. You get to see every trade throughout the whole match. So, yeah, go grab a nice cold beer and let's get into it. But before we do, I would really, really love it if you could click the like button to support the channel we make these videos for you for free and all we ask for in return is you click the like button to support the channel you should probably hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you get all of our videos as soon as they come out okay that's all set let's dive into it there's some real life trading demonstrations on the correct score market this one's just about to kick off it's portugal against bosnia and you can clearly see there's a strong favorite in this one with portugal there at 1.21 so that means probability wise they're going to win this match 80 percent plus of the time right so with that in mind we can obviously just cover scores which cover the portugal win and just double checking the over two and a half they're favoring over two and a half goals so it's going to be over two and a half goals the majority of the time so this leads us in this direction where we're covering the 2-0 the 2-1 3-0 and 3-1 the tricky part for those who are new to this market is the any other home win 
uh, market. So if Portugal score four, then obviously th this outcome would win. So you kind of want to look for a bit of a balance. So you want to find matches where you're expecting a favourite to win comfortably, but hopefully not scoring four very quickly anyway. We want to get a chance to trade on these score lines in the meantime. If Portugal hit their fourth late on, fair enough. But if they're hitting their fourth in the first half, then we're going to be in a bit of a struggle. But anyway, we're pretty confident about this one. Bosnia are, are, are a team that like that, that can defend pretty well. So let's see how it goes. It's 2-0 uh, covered, 2-1. 3-0 and 3-1. So let's see what happens. Portugal against Bosnia just about to kick off. So just reached half time here and it's Portugal 1, Bosnia 0 and Portugal took the lead pretty much on the stroke of half time as you can see here. So that's pretty good for us. That's a definite so far so good situation. Ideally we want to land on these target scores later on in the match during the second half. So we're, we're one goal away from being on the 2-0. Obviously 1-1 isn't covered. We're expecting Portugal going to win this 80 plus percent of the time, even more so now they're winning 1 0. So, anyway, let's see what happens. We want to try and get on that 2 0, and then we'll see what happens from there. This is half time Portugal 1, Bosnia 0. 77 minutes on the clock. Portugal finally doubled the lead. It's now 2 0 to Portugal. And so we're on that target score line of the 2 0, and you might kind of think the job is done, right? Well, we still got to be very wary about that any other home win especially a strong favorite like this can get a late flourish and then yeah suddenly it's 4-0 so we've still got to make sure we're removing risk as much as possible from this trade now we're not going to remove all of the risk but I'm going to remove half of that risk okay so let's just put that in and so that leaves us in a position where if it does remain 2-0 we're going to make 66 percent however if it goes to 2-1 we've got 150% on that and we've got some nice uh, well, almost 200% on that 3-0 to Portugal as well and then obviously if it goes to 3-0 we'll definitely exit at that point because then we're one goal away from the any other home win but anyway let's see what happens worst case scenario at this point probably just stays 2-0 78 minutes on the clock it's Portugal 2 Bosnia 0 and we're in the 93rd minute and it has gone 3-0 to Portugal. So we've landed on that 3-0 that scoreline and definitely time to, you know, totally remove the risk. We're pretty much done in the match. But of course, like I said, that late flourish can easily happen when you get strong favourites like this. And yeah, we, we're pretty much all secured. So even if there's another goal, we are we're, we're going to make that profit. And um, I thought I had the final whistle there. Well, that wasn't it. All right. Well, anyway, let's let's just do it again, just in case there is time, because big favourites like this can often just nick another one very late on. So anyway, worst case scenario now is we're just going to make the hundred and eighty one pounds, one hundred and eighty one percent return. That's the best way of looking at it as a percent return, because obviously everyone uses different stakes and one hundred and eighty one percent return. Not bad at all. If there is another goal. That would leverage it up very nicely, especially if Bosnia pull one back, actually. I didn't notice that. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, don't think, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're done in this one. You can see the odds are very, very low. 1.02 to back on the 3-0 scoreline. So that pretty much means that that is the end of the match. So, yeah, anyway. So, anyway, I thought this was a, a good example of a correct score trade that was maybe slightly different from what we've shown on this channel before where we have such a strong favorite there's not really any need for a plan b because we know 80 percent of the time plus portugal gonna win this match so it is just a matter of covering the score lines and at the same time hoping they don't run away with it so you've got to do a little bit of research in the meantime just to see what time of what type of team you're getting involved in are they a team that just comes out straight away can blow teams away be four nil up at half time and I think that is the final whistle and that is pretty much it. But anyway, yeah, as I said, are they the type of team that's going to blow teams away or are they going to grow into it and then get the goals late on? Does the underdog defend well? Anyway, this one fit the profile exactly and it's played out exactly like that. Portugal took the lead around half time, two late goals. We landed on our target scoreline. So, yeah, very well done. Final score, Portugal 3, Bosnia 0. So we're going to trade the correct score market in this match between Fiorentina and West Ham in the Europa Conference final. 
Now, what's interesting about this market is when you look at uh, when you've got one team price there at two to one and this one at 2.8, well, that means the markets can't really split them at all. It's pretty much a coin flip on who they think is going to win it. And we can see that very similarly in the winner's market. They're given the edge to West Ham, as you can see. OK, but it is very, very even. And this is the type of market that can flip in play if Fiorentina were to start as the better team. So anyway, this is this is the type of market that I would say is a little bit more advanced when you're trading football because there's no clear favourite to go with. And so you've kind of got to make your decision based on, your, I guess, your own research, your own read on the match and also the in-play action. And from my point of view, looking at this, I would probably say I would give the edge to Fiorentina, not to West Ham. And I think the markets might have it a little bit wrong. So we're going to side with Fiorentina on this one. And just to show you, the goals markets are expecting a fairly tight one, 1 1.68 on the under two and a half goals. So it's a hard one to call from a winning perspective and not really expecting that many goals. So let me show you what we've done with this one. I've covered four score lines, 1-0, 1-1, 2-0 and 2-1. So all pretty low score lines and in favour of Fiorentina and I've skewed it so that I've put more on the lower ones like the 1-0 and the 1-1. The idea behind that is that it could be a very very tight match it could just be a 1-0 to Fiorentina and uh, depending on the time of the goals we would be looking to leverage that green especially if we get onto a 1-0 to Fiorentina that would be most ideal otherwise we'll be looking for a 1-1 and if West Ham just run away with it and prove me totally wrong win it 2-0 or 3-0 then we just hold our hands up and say hey called this one totally wrong okay that is a uh, part and parcel of football trading you cannot get it right all the time anyway let's see what happens next it's just about to kick off should be a very interesting match to trade so we've reached half time in this one and it is Fiorentina nil West Ham nil this is how our market looks we could get out for a scratch trade if we were nervous about it but there's no real reason to be nervous. Now, let me show you the match odds market. As mentioned right at the start, I thought Fiorentina were the team that which should have the edge. It is very even, don't get me wrong, but I thought Fiorentina should have the edge. And it's starting to turn out that way. And the markets have moved in that way, okay? Fiorentina now the favourites. 3.25, while well, West Ham are priced around 4. The winner's market, you can see it has flipped in favour of Fiorentina, despite it being nil nil and this is something you will see in markets like this and all the more reason why this is definitely more of an advanced market you've got to call it before the before the match and call it correctly obviously if we were back in West Ham then we'd be in a bad position right now because they're no longer the favorites they might still go on and win of course but we'd be up against it but anyway so far the markets definitely are moving in our favor and it's well it's nil nil at half time so Ideally, as mentioned, our best case scenario is a goal for Fiorentina to take the lead. That's the best case scenario for us. We'll be in a very strong position. Anyway, let's see what happens. It is nil-nil at half time in this one. 64 minutes on the clock and we've had the breakthrough and it's gone annoyingly to West Ham. So obviously, look, we, we, we put our neck on the line. We, set, we went in favour of Fiorentina in this coin flip type of match. It was looking good. The markets were going in our favour. But anyway, dodgy handball, VAR, and a penalty to West Ham, which they've converted. So we're on that 1-0 to West Ham. But of course, we've still got 1-1 and still got 2-1 alive, okay? So let's look to try and get on one of those target score lines, and then we'll work from there. If we wanted to just get out of this, if we were a bit nervous, it's around, a, I think, a 45% loss. It's just gone up to a 57% loss, but there's, there's always that option of just getting out and, uh, yeah, and moving on to the next one. But we're sticking with it. It's Fiorentina nil, West Ham 1. It's 65 minutes on the clock. We just hit the 67th minute and there's been an equaliser. Fiorentina pretty much went out the other end and they've levelled it, OK? So Fiorentina 1, West Ham 1. And that's exactly what we were looking for. So we're on that 1-1 scoreline. We've got £100 of green on it. Best thing to do is actually... Because, I mean, it's £50 of cash out. That's not a bad uh, cash out amount but anyway we're always going to try and push it to, to a bigger profit on these uh youtube demonstrations so what we're going to do anyway first thing to do is always remove the risk from this so it's going to leave us with some profit on that one one 
But that target score of 2-1 has now got a decent amount of green with 270. And so we're going to need Fiorentina to take the lead and to get onto that target score for us. Okay. But anyway, we'll see what happens. It is a cup final. And very often in these sorts of scenarios, when it's a draw heading into the last 20 minutes, you do see teams kind of play for the extra time and penalties. So that could be the way in this one. But anyway, we're not going to lose any money. It's just a matter of seeing how much we can make. Let's see. It's Fiorentina 1, West Ham 1, 69 minutes gone. We're in the 91st minute and it looks like West Ham are going to nick this. They're going to nick it in injury time. Very, very good goal. And uh, yeah, I mean, fair, fair, fair play to them. <laughs> so obviously that pretty much kills us. We're not going to make any money out of this, but the important lesson to learn from this and we always try and explain this to everyone is that when you're trading football you cannot win every trade and so the trades where you call it wrong if you can get into a position like this where you just break even then that's as good as a win okay that is the mindset to have don't be involved in a match and then uh you know throw your toys out the pram and say oh well that was a waste of time i didn't make anything at all this match we called it wrong we went with fiorentina it looks like it's gonna be west ham and in the end, we're not going to take a loss on this. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. You just move on and you just trade the next match. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Unless you hear from me again, I think this is going to be the final score. Fiorentina 1, West Ham 2. And congratulations to West Ham. So we've still got some more examples to come. But for those who are interested in learning how to trade the correct score market and become a master at trade in this market then we have recently launched a new course that covers exactly that called correct score mastery and this course will teach you everything you need to know about trading this market and it will show you the ideal target score formula okay so we do have an, an ideal target score formula but then by the time you've finished the course you should be at that level where you don't necessarily need to follow the ideal target score formula you could sit down at any football match and be able to pick out your own target scores because by then you're going to know exactly what you're doing and of course there's other stuff such as how to create free bets and leverage very very important when you're trading the correct score market and you get the low risk high reward strategies included as well okay so anyway if you are interested in it the course is currently sold out at the time of putting out this video but if you want more information, download this Course Prospectus ebook. It's absolutely free to download. Just click the link in the description of this video, put in your email address, and we will email it right, right to you, okay? This ebook has all the details you need to know. There is quite a lot to take in. That's why we've had to put it into a full on prospectus. And do remember, Correct Score Market is a very sensitive market, it's quite advanced. We can't allow just anyone on to the course. You have to ideally fill out an application form inside the prospectus to try and get in. Or if you are someone who's done one of our beginner courses before, then that should put you uh, high priority on the list. Either way, click below to get your course prospectus ebook and take a closer look at what there is to offer. OK, the link is in the description. Put in your email address and you should have it in your inbox by the time this video is done. Anyway, let's jump into another live example on the correct score market. So we've got the German Cup final here with RB Leipzig against Frankfurt. About to kick off shortly, we can see Leipzig are an odds-on favourite for this one. And if we head to the goal markets, we can see that it's pretty 50-50. Overs just about favoured. But anyway, let me show you what we've got gone for on the correct score market. Now, we've covered 1-1, 2-0, 2-1, 3-0 and 3-1. But if you look closely, you can see we've actually weighted it so that we've got a bit more green on those lower score lines, such as 1-1, 2-0 and 2-1 the 3-0 and the 3-1 actually has less green now the thinking behind this is that well it's a cup final you could have a bit of a tentative start and we might only hit these score lines such as a 1-1 such as a 2-0 late on in the match and if so we want to have some green and some substantial green to play with if that scenario develops okay so anyway something slightly different just want to demonstrate it 
and anyway it's just about to kick off let's see what happens in play so it's half time in this one and it is nil nil which kind of goes with my thought behind this match is that obviously it's a cup final we were kind of expecting goals but yeah it's probably going to be a bit of a tight uh, entry to it right in the beginning but um anyway yeah nil nil at half time so let's have a look we can see here leipzig now 2.6 favorites for this one let's have a look at the correct score market and obviously not much to see but if you did want to exit at this point you just thought the goals are not going to come you can get out with a 43 percent loss but in this case this is actually going pretty much the plan we're just looking for two second half goals so if we can get to a 1-1 or a 2-0 especially then yeah we're, we're definitely in business but anyway half time nil nil 71 minutes on the clock and we've had the opening goal it's gone to leipzig as kind of expected okay being the favorite so here we are and we're on that one nil so we're one goal away from a target score line and uh, as mentioned at the top of this demonstration we've loaded it up so that we've got the bigger green on these scores the one one and the two nil for it so we're in a very strong position to try to try and get that now one more goal is going to put us on that target score line and put us on it fairly late in the match if it does arrive now so anyway let's see let's see what happens there's around 18 minutes left plus the stoppage time it's one nil to leipzig it's 85 minutes on the clock it's just gone two nil to leipzig so this has actually worked out pretty well okay uh, especially with regards to the forecast expected that well we sorry expected that we were going to hit one of these score lines quite late on in the match it being a cut match etc etc and that's pretty much exactly how that's paid out so anyway we've got we had more green on this 2-0 which is going to allow us to play with that green a little bit more there's a corner and what's happened there is it going to get cleared okay so yeah i think it yeah it got cleared so anyway now look we're on this 2-0 and look if there's no more goals we're going to make a hundred percent return on our stake but we're got some nice green sitting if it goes to 2-1 or if it goes to 3-0 to, to Leipzig okay so this is exactly the position we want to be in and while we front loaded the correct score market on this one and just to show you the cash outs there with one two six but we're not going to take that because look let it run we make a hundred here another goal we could be looking at doubling our money so anyway let's see what happens Frankfurt obviously just going to have to push and try and get a goal maybe Leipzig can catch him on the counter attack let's see what happens we're going to make a profit it's just a matter of how much so here we are deep into injury time and doesn't look like we're going to get that third goal so in the end the profit is going to be that okay 100% return not bad at all and you just got an interesting example there of how you can just apply different green to different score lines okay hopefully over a lot of the videos you might have seen on the channel sometimes we dutch it sometimes we're doing the, the split staking uh, and sometimes you can move it around and put bigger profits on score lines you think are more favorable more likely to come in and at the same time it can give you more chance to leverage up so if we would have got another goal either to 3-0 255 there or 2-1 with a 305 okay that would have been very very nice but as it is looks like we're just going to make a hundred percent return we're pretty much in that final minute now of injury time so that's probably it the full-time score leipzig two frankfurt nil so you've got this international match with finland and slovenia literally just kicked off you can see it's a very even matchup finland the the slight favorites but it's very very even um, the draw price around the same price as the away team so anyway look if we look at the over and under two and a half goals market under two and a half goals pretty uh solid solidly low price okay so that means that and, and you see this often with international matches markets not really expecting goals probably a bit bit of a tight one and if we look at the probabilities we can see that around 65 percent of the time this is going to be under two and a half goals okay however majority of the time it's still going to be over one and a half goals isn't it right so anyway this helps us with picking out our score lines and we've gone for score lines which are over one and a half but possibly under two and a half so one one covered two nil two one and that three nil okay so we've got a nice little spread and obviously we've got a nice bit of green on that three nil if it does come into the home team and this is all in favor of the home team anyway let's just kicked off so let's see how this one develops in play so we've reached half time in this one so far so good finland are leading one nil and uh, as you can see look here one nil it's not our target scoreline however 
We could cash out for a 62% return on, on our stake. That's mainly because all the other score lines, like the 1-1, one, one, the 2-0, two 2-1, nil, two and yeah, even the 3-0 has all moved in. So all the score lines have moved in pretty much. So anyway, that's, that's obviously put us in a very strong position with this and you could cash out right now if you wanted to obviously for these video demonstrations we're going to try and push it to the limit as much as we can and another goal would put us in a very strong position ideally another one to Finland if they can double the lead we've got some nice green sitting on that 2-0 um, but also if the 3-0 can shorten even more then we can get more green out of that let's see where we are uh, if and when that goal arrives but anyway so far so good it's 1-0 to Finland at halftime. 65 minutes on the clock. It's 2-0 to Finland, okay? So, anyway, look. First thing to do at the moment is I just want to remove all the risk from this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it laying at that price. Let me try again and put that in. Very embarrassing if that went through. But, anyway, so we're going to lay off the risk from this. And then I'm going to quickly uh, just, just quickly assess and tell you what, what's going on with this trade so currently i mean the cash out is is very good it's a 228 cash out so over 100 percent return that's exactly the type of thing you're looking for from correct score trading and you know to be honest if this wasn't a video demonstration you might want to take that profit it's 250 profit at the moment um however another goal to finland we've got a very nice green sitting on that three now so that's mainly because of the uh, the movement of the three nil score line so we back that at 38 that's now gone into 6.2 to lay but anyway look we've removed all the risk from the trade now so look if it does stay two nil to finland we're going to make a nice bit of uh, profit still more than 100 percent return if slovenia can pull one back we've got more than 100 percent return on that two one and of course uh, the money shot is if we can get that third goal to Finland and well still plenty of time on the clock to do it let's see what happens 25 minutes left plus the stoppage time it's Finland 2 Slovenia 0 and we're deep deep into injury time in this one so it looks like that is the end of the scoring it looks like it's going to finish 2-0 to the finish so as as predicted with this remember we said look probably not going to be over two and a half but it will be over one and a half and we've landed bang on that with the 2-0 scoreline so we shouldn't be completely surprised by that but of course at the same time we were in a very nice position should there have been another goal and that's all we want really when it comes to correct score trade and that is the philosophy okay we want to put ourselves in a position to profit but as another goal goes in we can increase those profits and we would have increased that substantially if, if uh, Finland could have got the third goal but it wasn't to be in this one and we've made a 117 percent return on this one which is a very very nice return at the same time so anyway yeah it looks like the final score on this one it's Finland to Slovenia nil I hope you've enjoyed checking all that out and I'm gonna leave you with another tip that we mentioned earlier on and I just want to say it again don't overthink it when you're picking out these target scores okay if you're someone who's trying to learn how to trade the correct score market you're much better off just picking out your target scores low stakes and just beginning to trade the market and apply some of the principles that you've seen in all of our videos okay don't overthink it just get in the market but of course keep your stakes low <laughs> keep your stakes low um so anyway if you missed it earlier on and you didn't quite grab it yet and you are interested in taking your correct score trading to the next level you can download this ebook it will show you everything you need to know about taking that correct score trading up to the next stage and as mentioned this will put you on the right path towards learning and mastering the correct score market so the link is in the description to download this put in your very best email address and we will email it right to you and then you can you can just take a look okay it's free to take a look as i said click the link below best email address and we'll email it right to you and if you enjoyed this video the video you just watched then there should be a video on the screen right now which we think you're going to like too okay so click on that video go grab another nice cold beer and let's get into it